Hi, I'm Jenny Frost and this is my life in music. I phoned my mum this morning and she told me it's ABBA, take a chance on me. The first record I went out and bought on my own was the Rebel MC Street Tour. I think like most girls, it was Madonna, the Immaculate Collection, you know, anything by Madonna. I thought that it was me singing, dancing around my bedroom, hairbrush in hand. Um, I still do that now, actually. Really, I was, I was a bit of a tomboy growing up. I was sort of into football tops and tracksuits up until I discovered boys and then it just, I just had my own sort of style then. But growing up, I was, you know, I was into music, but I used to wear football tops. Sorry. A song that reminds me of a great teenage moment is a house track by Candy Statton, I think it is. Candy Statton is called um, Sometimes I Feel Like Throwing My Hands Up In The Air. And that just reminds me of being about 15, first time in a nightclub, which I shouldn't have been. And me and my best friend Christy were just dancing away to this song. And we were like, God, this is the best thing ever. And then we turned around and she was actually stood on stage singing it. She was in a live PA we were just like, ah! So that's actually our song now. Every time it comes, she lives in Manchester. Every time it comes on, we overthrow each other drunk. Listen, it's our song. Hi, I'm Jenny Frost and this is my life in music. First live gig I went to, um, I really wanted to go and see this concert and my mum said that I was too young, it's not cool, but, so my dad um, came and picked me up from school on my lunch hour and said, oh Jennifer's got an emergency dentist appointment, she's got to come, something like that. So my dad took me to town, brought me a new outfit and took me to see level 42, <laughs> the GMAG Centre, it was great. <laughs> I've been to U2 lots of times and I think U2 are probably my favourite band live. They're, they're the only band that I've ever seen live that have made me cry. Because oh, when Bono sings a certain songs, I'm just like, oh! But um, I love Paul Well Alive as well. Um, Kaiser Chiefs, I saw them this year, they were fantastic. I think one song that sort of, um, I mean, it had been out before this, but one song that really reminds me of being like grown up and leaving home, I was about, um, I think I was about 17 or 18, and I was living in Japan. And um, I went to this really mental party, and it was like my first time in sort of, like this, sort of this environment. And I was in this amazing penthouse apartment, and there was a huge cinema screen, and Jungle Book was on the cinema screen, and Dove, um, Prince When Doves Cry was just blasting out of the stereo, and I was just dancing, I was thinking, God, life's good. So that song really reminds me of sort of really good times and being independent and sort of leaving home because I love him and I love him and I love him and I've been in the same room twice as him in the past I've bottled it I've gone Ooh. I just sat behind him once and stared at his head I love everything he, he's ever done ever maybe apart from last Christmas but um I love everything about George Michael wham everything I've even got a dog called George Michael Hi I'm Jenny Frost and this is my life in music Awful R. Kelly song, I Believe I Can Fly. Oh, it's just great. I don't want to shoot the cheeky girls, but just don't listen to them. I want to smash up the stereo for her Ja Rule, because his voice just gets on my nerves, and when he's always singing about how sexy he looks like a meatball. The video I wish I could have been in would probably be Foo Fighters Learning to Fly, because it just amuses me. No matter how many times I watch it, it just makes me giggle. And I think Dave Grohl is gorgeous. I will just... I think he's lovely. Mm. I just walked past him at a backstage at a concert once and went, I love you. And he went, that's really nice, honey. <laughs> like that. Well, one that sticks out in my mind is when we did, is before we did our arena tour, we did like a theatre tour. And um, the last date was in Liverpool. And it was, um, it was just a really good gig because we were all really good spirits. And it was my dad's birthday as well. And 
I changed my t-shirt at the end to a stop that said daddy's girl and my dad was like Ey. so it was and because it was our home crowd and all our family and friends are there that was that was probably my favorite gig today when me and the girls used to tour and we used to perform ladies night that was always really good fun because the dance routine was good and it was really high energy so i always enjoyed performing that stage i remember i went to a gig once to see radiohead because everyone thinks radiohead are like the coolest of cool i just don't get them I'm just really sorry i just don't and i was just like and everyone's like, oh my god, Tom York is a god. And I was like, is that always the bar? Well, you know, I'm sorry if that's blasphemy for people, but I just don't get it. Songs were played at my funeral would have to be Club Jamaicana because at my funeral the drinks would be free. <laughs> well, if you actually, I've got that caller tunes thing, so if you phone my phone, you don't hear ring in tone, you hear Club Jamaicana. But when it rings for me, I hear Kaiser Chiefs, I predict the riot. But my boyfriend said, if I don't change Club Tropicana, he's never going to call me again. Because he said, I'm putting him off the song. Because every time he calls me, you've got to listen to the whole of Club Tropicana before I answer. Because I'm on the other end going, hey, predict a riot. <laughs> I'm Jenny Frost. Thank you for watching My Life in Music.